I know I'm a bit late reporting on this, but with the, the news that we're finally getting Marvel 2 back again, plus all the other versus games, and I guess uh, the Punisher is also coming back too, I never played the Punisher. The future of this franchise is literally in our hands. And what I mean by that is that companies, well at least as far as I know Capcom really does this, but I think companies do this as well, when they have like, uh, you know, collections of whatnot, it's basically like a testing the waters, right? So if you guys want a new game, which I'm sure it's obvious, still, if you want a new game, you have to buy this game. Like it's, a, it's kind of a no-brainer, whether you are only interested in Marvel 2, or you don't care about the other games on it. If you care about the future of Marvel vs. Capcom as a whole, if you want to see a Marvel 4, or technically I guess it'd be a Marvel 5, because I think Infinite is 4, I think. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Infinite's 4. But if you care about the series at all, you will buy this collection, because literally the future of the game depends on it, because that's just how the company does things. They put out collections of their games, and that determines if it's going to get a remake or a new game, because it shows the company, or the higher-ups or whatever, that, like, Oh, they care about this really old game? Let's make another sequel. It's like, look at all the games that got collections over time. We got a Devil May Cry collection. We got Devil May Cry 5. We got a, a bunch of old re-releases of Resident Evil, and look at that. They're remaking all the old Resident Evil games. I'm pretty sure we're getting a Resident Evil 5. Um, not too sure if they ever remade Monster Hunter, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's like an old version of Monster Hunter that came out first, or like a old PSP version or something that got remade before the Vita went out, and then boom, we got Monster Hunter World. I wouldn't be surprised, alright? I mean, we saw what happened with Darkstalkers, and the fact that its collection, I think, sold terribly. Like, it didn't sell good at all. Like, it, it did bad. And, well, you see what happened to Darkstalkers, right? We never got it, unfortunately. And that, we don't want to happen to Marvel vs. Capcom. Because this series, it, it's... I don't think it is going to happen. Like, I'm pretty sure this is going to sell out. I'm, I'm purposely going to buy multiple copies of this game. Just because, like, I'm going to get it on PC, my Switch, and PlayStation. And I'm probably only going to play it on PC. But, like... I'm almost certain the fact that we're getting this is huge, and everybody knows this too, because people are gonna buy it. People want to play this game for for years, because no one's gonna pay two hundred dollars for the PlayStation Two version of of any of these games. As, as much as they love it, they're not gonna spend a console on just the game. That's not, that's not how that works. But yeah, if you care about the franchise, you'll support it anyway. You'll buy it. I personally, I'm gonna buy multiple copies of the game just because. Um, I'm a huge fan, and I would love to play Cyclops again and shoot people in the face why people hate me. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's going to be the video. Take care. Godspeed.